Danny Dyer admits she and Jack Fincham have separated three months after split. Danny Dyer and Jack Fincham are now living separately after months of fighting following their Love Island win. Danny Dyer has admitted that she and Jack Fincham have separated just three months after their brief split, because they can't stop fighting. The Love Island winners struggled to live together after bagging the £50,000 cash prize, and, despite furiously denying their relationship had become a sham, split for a few days in December before getting back together again. But Danny, 23, had now confessed that the couple are living in different homes now after moving out of their joint East London pad when the lease came up, she's gone back to Essex to live near her family, while Jack, 27, has scored himself an apartment in South London. Their rows were getting out of hand and the pressure to perform as a couple was too great to carry on, says Danny, who insists they are still in a relationship. Things are more difficult in the real world, that's where you get to know the person and you learn their faults, she told Fabulous Magazine. On Love Island everything is done for you so you don't have to think about anything. Then suddenly you come home and you're arguing and bickering and silly things become an issue. She went on, we both come out of a bubble and we're trying to adapt to this new world. I didn't like it when we were arguing, with relationships. You want to bring out the best in each other and we were bringing out the worst. So you just end up being miserable around each other. But while they may have quietly separated, Danny denies fan theories that she and Jack were somehow forced to stay together in order to make lucrative cash. I'd love to see what money I'm apparently getting out of these commercial deals. I'd love to have that money. Danny continued. I have never been that sort of person. I would never get back with someone for deals that we never had anyway. Yes. We did the show together but we didn't have to stay together if we didn't want to. We were never contracted to do anything like that, that is not a thing and if it is it should be illegal. But the young lovebirds did struggle to adapt to living together in East London, which ended up being a compromise between where they both actually wanted to be. Jack didn't want to live in Essex and I didn't want to live in South London so we thought we'd both get our own places and live between them, she explained. We're building the relationship, back up slowly. We both moved out of our areas and to Wapping together, where we had none of our home comforts. It's nice to have my own company sometimes. I can watch what I want, when Jack's there, he puts all these bird programs on. When we buy a house, then we can decide where to live, but for the time being we've got to grow. Danny admitted that her family played a role in helping her and Jack decide not to live together anymore with her nan insisting that six months wasn't enough time to get to know someone. I hope he's the one. I think he is. He brings out the best in me, Danny added hesitantly. Danny refused to be drawn on whether Jack's drug-fueled partying was to blame for their relationship cooling off, after he admitted to taking cocaine on a night out. Danny was said to be furious after Jack confessed during a phone call while she was on her comic relief trip hiking up Mount Kilimanjaro last month. I've made a mistake and I'm sorry for it and that's the truth," he said at the time.